Last chance to drop the weapons. Oh, you're hacking. Drop your weapon or you're dead. You're really hacking, man. He's hacking. It's the same fella that owns the base that we raided. He's under the ground. What's going on guys, so we're back with a new video and in today's one I want to talk about hackers on official DayZ servers So over the past nearly uh, about a week I've been playing on just standard official servers on DayZ uh, I had planned to do a video on the official servers where I would get geared as much as possible and then go down south and give all my gear to a fresh spawn preferably somebody that was either new at the game or playing by themselves you know to kind of maybe give them a chance to get some loot they mightn't necessarily ever have had before or something like that just make it a fresh spawns day you know and make them happy since the wipe was coming i didn't need the gear anyway so that's what i was going to do so over the past four days I have been playing on Trenner's server and I was in Pavlovo town and I got held up by four guys on it. They just questioned me wondering what I was doing and they let me go which all seemed perfectly fine. But while those four guys held me up they actually told me where their base was. And it was just northeast of Pavlovo in a little farming area that's there. And so I was like okay sounds good. I still went up north. Went to Northwest Airfield and then on the way back down I was going to go and check out this base and see maybe if I could raid it. Because they also did say to me that if they saw us near the base they would shoot us. So I checked out the base and saw that it was there and it was a really really big base. There was two brown barns completely full of gear. One of them had two cars in them and the other one had, was all full of tents with all different gear. So I had planned to try and get on and raid it. So... When I was offline, I was just recording, I wasn't streaming, um, I got a, rounded up a few people in my Discord and we went to try and raid it. We broke into the barn with the cars in it and got a car out and we were able to boost them from that car into the main big barn where all of their loot was. I was preparing to break the wall that was in this, so we could go in and raid the rest of it. And then within a split second, all three of us were dead. Um, we thought that it was the car, but I don't think it was the car because I was behind a wall a bit away from the car and the two my two other friends were outside next to the car but it still didn't seem like it was the car and we suspected a hacker so we suspected a hacker done this and we're like well that's that's a nine but we weren't a hundred percent sure so i decided to run straight back to that area to see what was going on so i ran back to that area again and as i was running down into the woodland just where their base was somebody shouted i can see you so I, of course, stopped running, looked around. Nobody to be seen anywhere at all. Could not see this person to save my life. And he was like, um, F5 to put your hands up and all this. And I was like, all right, whatever. Done it. And then he randomly appeared. And I was like, oh, that's a bit interesting. And so he was there. And I knew instantly that it was the same guy that held me up the previous day with his three other friends. That it was them. And I was like, this guy is the fella that's hacking. Uh, I had that suspicion, uh, so I tried to run off, and then he ended up shooting me straight away. So I was like, okay, that's a bit annoying. Now now I was really annoyed. So the following day, I went on, I went to stream on the same servers, and a couple of viewers from my streams also had gear on official servers. They had grenade stuff like that, so we could actually raid the base. So we were like, okay, let's go raid this base. We ended up raiding all of the bases that were there destroying all the loot and then getting out of there we were really really geared and again we were going to go down south try find a couple of fresh spawns and give the loot back to them you know and make a fresh spawns day or we went into Chernogorsk, met a fresh spawn gave him an ak he said thank you for it we were happy out went along our way i ended up killing one uh, roughly fresh spawn player he had a bit of gear on him uh, he was shooting he was he didn't shoot at us but he was about to shoot at us with a sporter so I headshot him and took him out of it just because the sporter in this update seems to be a little bit more powerful than usual like six seven shots even with a play card and you can somehow drop it's it's weird so killed him we went along our way now there is a little kind of military compound that has two tents and um, a double stacked camo netting building 
in this just uh, outside, uh, just at the start of Chernogorsk to just search for some loot and hopefully try and find some fresh spawns because the place was very, very quiet. We couldn't find anyone at all. Now, bear in mind, this was a full server. There was a queue to get into this official server and we couldn't find a single person. So we walk up to this military compound in Chernogorsk and bang, I get shot from what seemed like hundreds of meters away. Out of the blue, I get shot. My jacket instantly ruins. I thought it was the server had lagged and it was the guy with the 22 had shot me, but it just, the server didn't catch up or something like that. That's what I generally thought it was. And I was like, that's just really weird. Then one of my teammates gets shot and gets killed. Again, from absolutely nowhere. There's little cracks going off. It's like a suppressed weapon here. Crack, crack, crack here and there. I'm searching all the high rise buildings around. Can't find a soul. Then we hear, put your hands up or you're going to die. Put your hands up or you're going to die. And I'm like, oh God, here we go. So this guy was saying that me and my other teammate was alive. I kind of scope around the, the sandbags of the uh, military compound. I'm like, I can't see this guy anywhere at all. Anywhere, cannot see him. And then teammate dies. So I kind of push over to where he was and I'm standing right on top of where the vice is coming from. There is no one there. No one there at all. This guy is hacking. He's either under the ground or in the sky. I'm assuming he's under the map and he shoots and kills me. And it's just like, what are we meant to do? There's, there's no way of killing this guy whatsoever. He's killed me three times over two days and it was just I, at that point i just was fuming i just didn't know what to do so i take twitter and i'm wondering is there a way to report hackers because i don't really play official that much so i didn't know so i take to twitter and ask does any way to report hackers and anarchy comes back and says there is no way to report it he's asked the devs before if they could implement something into the official service so you could report players but no joy there so far so this really annoyed me and then i get a reply saying to contact this certain person in the daisy discord and they might be able to help so i go contact this certain person in the daisy discord and within a minute or so my messages have been removed and i've given no reason why i know i can't contact anyone i don't know what to do so it's ridiculous i don't know why there isn't any type of simple system whatsoever there to be able to report a hacker now you might be saying to yourself just go and use the feedback uh, tracker thing to report a hacker you can't use the feedback tracker to report a hacker if you want to report a hacker in day z you have to go to battleize support and hopefully contact them about a hacker for this game and hopefully maybe possibly they will somehow get banned which is so stupid it's so stupid it's insane with the amount of money this game is probably bringing in from console and pc and the amount of players on it you think there'd be some way it doesn't have to be any like amazingly complicated super anti-cheat system just something simple that we can report hackers to be like look this is where it happened this is the server i was on here's video proof of it can you have a look for me and if he wasn't hacking happy days my mistake but if he was hacking then he could get banned and so on and so forth but it's just it's ridiculous that this is happening on official servers and i do feel really sorry for you console players as well where hackers are probably running rampant you know with the jupers and stuff like that as well and on pc now i've run into hackers myself it's terrible it's terrible i did tweet out saying not to go onto the server that this was on i will put that server information on screen here as well so you don't run into this hacker yourself that's all i can do is just warn you out there to not play on these servers and to leave you know about this stuff but there is no official way to report somebody cheating on daisy and it is terrible it is terrible it needs to be sorted really quickly because it is just it's so frustrating when you have proper evidence of somebody blatantly cheating and you cannot report them it is just insane but that's that's my rant over i needed to make this video just to leave you know uh, about the server and about this incident and hopefully you know someday down the road we can get 
a report system for cheaters into the official servers it would be really good to see but yeah let me know if you've ever had anything like this as well i'd love to hear your thoughts and your stories as well in the comment section down below but uh yeah i do appreciate y'all listening and until next time i'll catch you guys in the next video so peace out for now